Shiny fans, if you're into colorful vegetables, stay tuned. And the most delicious one is the one that has tomato sauce and of course vegetables are here to love. Add only and only salt to the boiling water and add pastas to boil for 6 minutes. We need pastas inside to be white and hard but the outside is soft. Now it is time to drain the pasta. But don't forget to keep the water. Put them aside cause we need them later. Now here are the vegetables for veggies. We need mushrooms to be almost diced. Clean whatever that's inside of the bell pepper because it makes the pasta bitter. Now it's time for julienne cut. Now here are chili pepper and cherry tomatoes. And then garlic, which makes the vegetables smell like heaven. And now broccoli. Let's mix them all with olive oil. First, we need to start with mushrooms, but don't forget that the temperature must be high. Then bell pepper, garlic, and at last chili pepper. And after a minute, broccoli and then tomatoes. Don't forget that we still need them fresh after it all. Let's make the marijuana sauce. Chop celery into pieces and then it's time for the onion. Saute it all in the same pan we used in the previous step. But this time it must be with no oil at first and later we can add some olive oil. This makes the sauce ta taste like the vegetables and it makes the flavor twice as better than it is. Then chopped garlic and after a minute pouch tomato needs to be added. Now fresh black pepper, salt, paprika powder, oregano and lemon juice need to be added too.
After some minutes, you should add pasta and vegetables to make it more juicy. And then you can add the water we boiled the pasta in. The best part is the serving part, which you can decorate it with green olive, parsley, parmesan cheese, and olive oil. Just look at that! Creamy garlic and mushroom pasta! Drain the pasta and then play with them because they get bored and then put them aside for a while. Slice the mushrooms into big pieces. Be careful, guys. Now, chop the garlic and we are ready to cook. Saute mushroom and garlic with a high temperature so the tastes are mixed. Then add cream cheese and parmesan cheese. Don't forget to control the temperature, which shouldn't be too hot. After 2 minutes, add spinach, and then spices and pepper and salt. When you feel like the sauce is ready, then it's time where you should add the pasta. Oh, oh, add it with some parsley and basil. And of course, the water that the pasta was boiled in it. You know, we need all the flavors at once. Oh my god, this tastes like heaven! For the green pasta, boil the pasta and don't forget that we need them warm because we're not going to make any hot sauce this time. To make the sauce, we need a mixer, some fresh basil, garlic, olive oil, parsley, and it's mixing time. Meanwhile, you should add peanuts, Parmesan cheese, lemon juice,
oregano and salt and pepper. And then it's time to mix, mix and mix. Peanuts and Parmesan cheese are to make the best texture for the sauce. Now it's time to add and mix the hot pasta with its water and mix perfectly. Isn't the color awesome? Let me tell you another secret, guys. Parmesan cheese is the key. Bon appetit!